Hello, this is Francisco Contreras from the Baker team, and we are going to be checking how to create a custom project based on the Android Baker library, so you all can distribute your apps in the Google Play Store and start publishing into a wider range of devices. We will need you to first install the Android Studio IDE and download the Android Baker library from our GitHub repository. I already have it, so I'm going to go ahead and open the project. As you can see, it is now synchronizing as an Android library. We will need this to successfully sync. But if you're having any troubles with it, from the SDK manager, make sure you have the following packages installed. Under SDK Build Tools 19.0.1, Android Support Repository, Android Support Libraries, Android Play Services, and Android Repository. Once you have all this installed, you can try to resync your project if it's failed before. We do have a successful sync, so our project is ready to be installed in our local repository to be used in our custom Baker Android application. Now let's compile and install our library as the wiki says. So open your terminal or CMD if you're working on Windows and navigate to your project folder. This directory contains two files that can be used to install the library depending on our type of operating system. Since I'm running on a Mac, I will use the Unix dedicated file, which is the Gradle one. From Windows, you can use the gradle.bat file and run it with the install parameter. You should see the following output if everything is running correctly. And finally, a build successful statement. Now, we are ready to start creating our custom breaker Android application. So, go to the menu file and click new project. Choose the project location. package name, a name and a module name, this will be changed later. Uncheck the create activity box, so it saves us a couple of steps, then click finish. Android Studio will start creating your project. Once it's done, you can click on Navigate, Tool Windows, and Project if it's not showing your project file. You can now see we have an empty custom application that we can change to be under Baker ready. So in order to do that, we will need Gravel to know where our recently installed library lives by reading the definition of our repository path.
Now, a dependency for the Android Baker project so the code is false can be used. Change the min SDK version and the target SDK version. Now, from an Android project, copy the Android manifest.xml file and overwrite the one on a custom project. Oops, this goes here. Overwrite, um, there we go. Next, we want to update the package name in the manifest file. Now copy the rest and asset folder from the under Baker project to our custom project. Feel free to overwrite for all. Once this is done, there are a couple of things I want to explain about the file we just copied. First, on the asset, you will find the HTML files for the background, which is rendering behind the shelf where the issue tones are. <laughs> the header.html, which is the one rendering at the top of the shelf. And the loading HTML, which is the one that shows up when the app is starting. All the files must be done with a fully responsive design so you can have a nice looking app in all types of devices. Then, on dress, you will find Android dedicated assets for each of the different stream devs currently available. On each one, the icon of your app will need to be replaced with the same size that Baker Android is stored with. Finally, on Bali's, you will find the stream.xml file, which is the most important this folder contains. There, you will find the app ID that is using the request made to your backend app and also a URL of your self.json file to retrieve the issues you have available. We can now sync the file and wait for success if everything was set up properly. Meantime, I will start the Genymotion virtual device so we can test this as soon as it's ready. Okay, now click on the button and wait for the manager to let us pick the virtual device we're going to be using. Pick our Gini motion device. Then there we go. Our app is running and ready to play with. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Francisco Contreras from the Baker team. Happy publishing, bye bye.